it's Ben here and here in Photoshop we're going to have a look at how we can create some nice tapered lines in Adobe Photoshop using some of the selection tools and the brush tools. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just look at how we create a nice kind of simple curved line using some of the ellipse tools. So I'm going to make a new layer on my Photoshop document um, just so that when I create these new lines they're on separate layers it makes them a bit easier to move around. So you can see I've clicked down here to add a new layer and it's added layer one across here to the right. So when I grab my selection tool, I'm actually gonna click and hold and go to the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm just gonna stretch out an ellipse, nice and long, and then I'm gonna grab my brush tool. B is the shortcut for brush tool. And we can right click here if we wanna change things like the hardness or the size or anything like that. But the basic kind of size that we've got here will be good. Um, also, I'm going to change to the default black and white colors down here on the left at the bottom of the toolbar. And then I'm just going to move along the top of my ellipse like this. Now to jump back to the ellipse tool, which is what we need to do now, I'm just going to press the ellipse tool or tap the M key. And then I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And now I'm going to grab the eraser tool. So if I click and hold here, I'm grabbing the eraser tool. And again, with this tool, if I right click, I can change to different kinds of eraser. I just want the hard round brush, or maybe a little softer, it doesn't matter too, too much. And I'm gonna increase the size of it. So you can see now when I'm erasing, and I need to also increase the opacity to 100% up here at the top in the options bar. If you don't see the options bar up here, just go to window, and down the bottom here, we have the option to check options. So now I can use the eraser tool and just erase that line. So you can see now when we deselect, so I'm gonna to go to select and deselect, and you can see now we get this nice kind of smooth curved line. If we go to view and 100%, then we're gonna see kind of how crisp and smooth that line actually is. So now we're gonna have a look at another way that we can kind of make some different lines. So we're gonna go down to the lasso tool here. And what I'm going to do is just with the lasso tool, I'm going to just draw a kind of wiggly line here and then come down to the bottom and just draw a box around the bottom. And it's this line that we're going to use for our brush. So I'm going to come here to my selection and I'm going to go to the modify option here and just smooth this out. So this is going to smooth my brush by a certain number of pixels. I'm going to pick 50. It's going to make it nice and kind of smooth. You can see it's smoothing out the edges here as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to grab my brush tool and then I'm just going to move along the top of this line. And then I'm going to come back to the ellipse tool or the polygonal lasso tool. And then I can just move this down a little bit. And at that point, I can then just make sure I'm not crossing any of these lines underneath. I can grab my eraser tool or tap E to grab the eraser tool. And then again, just erase that. So you can see again, we're able to get that real nice kind of smooth line tapering a little bit and when we go to select and deselect you can see we've got this nice kind of smooth line nice and tapered at the ends and we've got a nice line to work with there so for this last method we are going to come to the pen tool now the pen tool here allows us to draw smooth lines in adobe photoshop so you can see from the example here that when we click and hold we can kind of make these smooth lines and the key here is that we're making a path with our pen tool rather than a shape. So if we grab the path, then we can click and then click and hold to make that line nice and smooth, click and hold. And when you're starting to work with this, you know, just get used to moving this by a little bit. So the anchor point here is where the line curves. And then these two little handles define the curve as we're drawing it out. So you can see we can draw a nice smooth line. Now with this example, we're just gonna click twice, three times, and back to the beginning. We wanna close off this line. And the reason is that we're gonna to come to the pass option here, and we're gonna to come to our select option down at the bottom. So basically we can turn this path into a selection, which means that we get this nice, super smooth selection here. And again, with this selection, we'll come back to our layers, make sure we have our layers selected. We can grab the brush tool, just tap B, and then I can Again, draw along this selection all the way down to the bottom there. 
and then I'm going to grab the ellipse tool which just allows me to really move that selection down and you can see once we start using that path tool to kind of make these drawings and then grabbing the eraser and increase the size of this using the right hand square bracket we really get these nice kind of super smooth lines. There's a few different ways of making lines in Adobe Photoshop and this really just gives you some different kind of creative options as you're creating those lines but you can see we get this nice kind of smooth line. Now I'm going to make a new layer here and we're going to look at some other refinements we can do or some other options. So I'm going to use the pen tool again to make my selection. I'm back to the beginning and then this time what I'm going to do is make my selection, grab my brush tool, I can make this a bit bigger, just makes it quicker to get that initial line there, doesn't matter how neat it is, and then instead of actually using the ellipse tool to transform it, I'm going to go to select and transform selection. Now that allows me to move the selection, but it also allows me to transform it as well. So if I come to the edge here, you can see I can change the size of my selection, which just starts to give you some different creative opportunities, and then I can also rotate it as well. So I can start to kind of really think about how that line is going to taper, where the thin bits are going to be, where the thick bits are going to be. I can also hold down the command or control key at the corners and start to stretch out different bits of that line. So you can see we get some nice kind of different effects when we actually use this transform option. So you've got the same transform option you have with objects here except with your line and you just want to make sure that we're not crossing over the bottom of that black area. So if I hit enter there now and then grab my eraser tool, you can see we're going to get some different styles of line that we can create in Adobe Photoshop. So that's a quick overview. Oh, let's delete that. So here's a quick overview of how to create some different styles of line in Photoshop. Obviously, there's lots and lots of different ways of doing this. We can create even lines around a vector shape, but I think this is a really nice technique for creating some different styles of lines that you can then kind of combine and work with if you wanted to get that real fine detail within your drawings within Photoshop. So I hope this is a useful tutorial just to show you some of the different creative opportunities you have working with selections and the paintbrush and for getting those nice kind of smooth tapered lines with a little bit of character, a bit of different types of character. And if you have any questions about Photoshop, then do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.